At Trail of Destruction, paved by more at now than 40 tornado reports as an active storm, severe storm, supercells tore through Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama. Uh, now that the storms and, and the system has calmed down, things are quieter, it, it's time to assess that damage and, and begin the work to recover. Absolutely. Field meteorologist Brett Adair joins us now by phone from Winsboro, Louisiana. Brett, great to hear from you. I know it has been a busy 24, 36 hours for your team. You know, you were out there on the ground as these storms were coming through. Walk us through what it was like last night with some of these most, you know, destructive storms. Well, it was a definitely a long duration event. We started tracking those storms really just after noon yesterday across portions of eastern Louisiana as they were making their way to Mississippi and even some storms developed near the Alabama border pretty early on that went into rotation. And we just had round after round of those severe thunderstorms and supercell thunderstorms that moved across portions of central Mississippi, Louisiana, and even into Alabama all the way through the early morning hours this morning. Uh, today, now we are kind of in damage assessment mode. I am currently on my way to Caldwell Parish, where we had a couple of you know pretty significant injuries last night with a tornado southwest of Winsboro, Louisiana. Uh, that tracked up through the communities of Hallam and uh, the Copenhagen community there on the uh, southwest of Winsboro, where some homes were pretty well destroyed. So we're making our way there to take a look at that damage and then going to begin at that point moving eastward with, you know, just basically we've got damage along I-55 down near Magnolia, Mississippi, over near uh, Fruithurst, Alabama. We had the unfortunate fatalities near Montgomery County, Alabama this morning. So, I mean, just tons of damage really to go over the next couple of days. We've been showing, uh, Brett, that video that you had in Brookhaven, Mississippi. There was that narrow corridor in Mississippi yesterday that the Storm Prediction Center had highlighted saying that the potential was there for strong tornadoes. Um, and as you're heading over to Caldwell, we talked to the meteorologist in charge at the Shreveport office, Brad Bryant. He said some of that damage uh, was consistent with an EF2 tornado. So uh, unfortunately, yeah, when, when we hear those reports of injuries, as far as uh, the conditions that, that you guys were dealing with yesterday, was it there anything particularly unique? I mean, we had this PDS watch out there, which is that heightened awareness, um, the type of environment that these storms were, were thriving in yesterday. Anything stand out to you? Well, there was definitely some things that we're going to learn from this event. Um, as bad as the event was and unfortunate with the injuries and the fatalities, the couple fatalities that we do have on the board for this system, I really think it, it could have been worse. I think we dodged uh, somewhat of a bullet with uh, we, we didn't really deal with the, the longer track type tornadoes, at least from what I've seen thus far. And, uh, you know, it, it could have been worse. So. We had uh, surface winds yesterday that, that didn't seem to be very strong near some of these storms because we were right underneath, as you mentioned, on the I-55 corridor near Macomb and Brookhaven. Uh, some of those storms were rotating very, very strongly at the cloud level, but for some reason they just could not spin their way all the way down to the surface. So I, th I think we dodged somewhat of a bullet in terms of the number of tornadoes and maybe the longevity of the cracks. So it's, it's going to be real interesting to see what all the weather service offices find in their damage surveys the next two or three days, as well as what we look at in terms of what ingredients may have been missing from keeping this. Because keep in mind, SBC had mentioned possibility of going high risk yesterday. Mm -hmm. No, but so, I think you, you make know. a great point. I know it's always in these days that, that as a meteorologist, it is interesting to see, mm -hmm. you know, what was missing from the forecast that, you know, didn't allow it to become the event in some cases that we were really anticipating it to be with that moderate risk, that significant risk. You know, I mean, unfortunately, a lot of communities were destroyed because of the tornadoes that did hit the ground. I know you and your team have done a great job, you know, really documenting what it's like for these people to go through these storms. So thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I know you've got another busy couple of days ahead of you, I'm sure. Yeah, safe travels there, Brett. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.